for the flow of uh, the mobile phase or the flow of the system simple if you are uh, maybe you will fail forget what i am saying okay is possible you have to follow this you have to follow this okay and you have to follow this this will guide you from the start to the end anyhow i will tell so we have a pump inlet which is this okay this goes to the degasser you know what is degasser okay okay after this there is a valve okay after this there is a pump valve is just like open and close okay there is a pump two pump heads which are running which are working okay and we have primary and the secondary check valves here the liquid goes from here here and then uh th then to the secondary pump head and then mixer which is inside okay here and then the pump outlet the pump outlet is going to the cartridge directly so whatever lw what is here it's flowing from this pump head towards the inversion generator cartridge okay and then we come here it's coming from the pump going inside the inlet coming out of the in uh, coming out of the outlet from the etc going into cr tc tc we call it cr atc or cr ctc according to an inert at time what the? cr atc hey what the is removes the carburetor okay which are, which are uh, generated by the membrane and after that we have a degasser ha huh. there is another degasser apart from this degasser this is called the the pressure shot. degassing okay by we can see pressure. we can see it's a uh, uh, ionized in uh, in uh, crtc sample i know it's sample where is the place of ionization till now there is no sample aha uh -huh. mash okay there is nothing no sample here okay because here is the pump here is the cartridge means which is in generating the elements uh -huh. there is no sample we discussed yesterday there is a valve here the injection valve that we used to fill the loops and then it is injected okay so after this it goes to the degasser and then finally from the degasser it is going out to the detector injection part injection valve injection valve اللي بيحكم في الكورة. اوكي. امال السي ار تي سي ده قال وظيفته ايه؟ نزع ثاني اكسيد الكربون. الناتج من عملية من عملية التعين ال الناتج من عملية الالون جنريشن. الالون جنريشن. الالونت. الالونت جنريشن. هو بيعمل الون جنريشن سواء للسلفونيك للميثايل سلفونيك او للبوتاسيوم هيدروكسيد فمن ده يتولد اليو اتش ومن ده يتولد الهيدروجين مظبوط تمام بينتج ثاني اكسيد الكربون ثاني الكربون نتيجه عن العمليه دي هو بينزع ثاني اكسيد الكربون في السي ار تي سي ويخش بعد كده يعمل دي جازر في الجزء اللي هو بيسموه الار الار اف دوت اه الار اف اي R F I C. أي bubbles أو أي gases. خلاص. وهو بعد ما يجي بقى هدي كده إيه. يدخل على الكولا. ماشي. بس قبل ما يدخل على الكولا. يدخل على الكشن بقى. لا لا شوف هنا السامبل خرجت من من ال من ال من هنا مش السامبل يا رب الونت نفسه خرج من هنا دخل على السي ار تي سي صح؟ تمام طيب ده وظيفته ده وظيفته ايه موجود؟ ولا ده بتاع ايه؟ حديد واحد الاثنين الابيض دول يعني في اثنين انجليت واوت ليت قصدك ده؟ ما هو في واحد انجليت وفي واحد اوت ليت في دلوقتي اثنين انلت واثنين اوتلت يدخل له انلت انلت من اللون الاسمر دوت انلت من اللون الاسمر واوتلت واوتلت من الاسمر برضه اللي هي الثانيه وفي اثنين وفي انلت واوتلت طيب بص بص صلي بينا على النبي انت عايز انت دلوقتي 
انت عندك في سامبل لا في في عندك اهو انا في عندي اربع انا بيبدا اثنين داخلين واثنين خارجين اثنين داخل اهي او واحد يقفل واحد طالع تمام ايوه وفي اهي كمان اهي دي انلت هنا او لت من الخارج مش هطلع ولا كده ايلمنت ايه ده I asking there is in here NC RTC there is four tubes, two inlets and two outlets. I want to description. I want to know what is this? This is for what and this is for what? Yesterday we discussed that if there is some current applied on the membrane, then you will have some gases coming out. Okay. So we have to take these gases out. Otherwise, it will be trapped inside. Okay, but just first uh, we continue with the flow. All right. So we were here. Uh, we were in the degasser. Okay. Okay, and then degasser is going to the injection valve. Where is the injection valve? Injection valve is here. Okay. So eluent is is coming. This is the injection valve. Okay. We we yesterday we discussed about uh, injection valve in detail. How uh, it is connected? If you have the diagram, who made it? You have I it? see. Okay. 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 So we have two positions here. One is load position, and one is inject position. Uh, pump is coming at two. Okay. If it is a load position, it means the sample is loading into, or sample should be loaded into the sample loop. So the pump is connected with directly with the column. So the pump is directly connected with the columns, guard columns and the column. When we inject the sample, or when it is when we run the sequence, so it will inject whatever is filled. Okay, so when it's inject, whatever is in the sample loop. It will be injected into the column. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. In column, there will be separation. After separation, it goes to the suppressor, where it suppress. After suppressor, it goes to the detector, and after the detector, we already detected uh, what we need to detect. Now, what to do with the outlet? Either we put it in the waste. Or we put it in the regeneration that we told that you asked. Here is the regeneration port. Whatever outlet is coming from the detector, it's ultraviolet water, like like an ultraviolet water with some analytes. Okay. Now this we use to clean, or we use to regenerate the suppressor and the CRATC or CRCTC. Okay. So that's why we have four ports here. One is the event port. Event means which is the analysis on which we are doing the analysis. After the analysis, we detect. Okay, we detect. After this detector, we wash. Mm -hmm. That is the fourth port. And, uh, basically, the main is two ports: inlet, outlet. But region in is the washing. Okay. Okay. So. That's why, right. and after washing, finally it's going out into your drain. Okay.